Kovacic in this scenario now. He's got the rest of his team falling on in. Now, a flashbang would help massively here because it's going to allow you to clear this corner, but they've got a smoke instead, and so they've got to take these fights dry. Luckily enough, Simple and Perfecto wow. come in, and they do a lot of damage. Bubski left up in what was a 1v3. He's dealt with Simple. Smoke goes down on the bomb, and Boomich trying to Ooh. stick it. Perfecto's going to get the kill. And Boomich will grab that defuse. So Na'Vi, they play retaker A. The fact that they're able to survive that journey into CT without a flashbang to clear the close angle. But uh, Na'Vi, they like the hard road. Ooh, nice kill from Boomich to open this round up. And this four spy from Mad Lions has already just been torn apart by Na'Vi. Uh, you wouldn't have known that <laughs> Mad Lions put money into this round. He ain't surviving this round, I can tell you that much. His deeks have been good. Acor's had really good pistols and rifles, so it's always nice for an author as well. Fimey's going to get rid of him, and that's Na'Vi finding a clean sweep. Yeah, Smoke's fall into the connector, and that's going to give a bit of a veil for Mad Lions to move up through Catwalk with two players back in the side, though. One of these being simple on this AWP. He gets the collateral there on that peak. Deals damage onto Acor. Only killed one of the two players, but he's locked the orb pretty much out of the round. Flamey follows up on a Bubski. And Acor, the man who was tagged up by Simple earlier on, is going to get finished off there by Perfecto. Na'Vi, they, they don't miss a beat. Into him, so yeah, that's a, another nice round for Na'Vi, man. They, they look ready to play today, and that's what I wanted. Oh, well. <laughs> Jeez, this is uh, this is quite the beginning for Navi. Man, this is brutal. Electronic just did something despicable as well. Blind spraying the con smoke gets himself a double kill. But Navi, they come to play in this series. That is one thing I can say for sure. Simple, no, not okay, not allowed, not acceptable, and he's going to escape as well. Yeah, Bubski's retrieved an AK though. And whenever I see Bubski armed and dangerous, I do remember some of the despicable things this guy's done. So I wouldn't be... Everyone has kits and there's still plenty of utility. So Na'Vi, they're, they're in a very good spot to give this a go. However, Acor dropping Flamey has now left this into a two on two. This smoke on simple is going to prove to be paramount when they go for this retake. But a lot of time has already ticked down off this bomb. And if Na'Vi are going to go for it, they've got to be a little bit faster than this. They've really got to go, or else there is no going at all. And smoke down. Perfecto's going to try and stick it. Yeah, he just gets found by Bubski, who's on three kills in this round. And on the back of it, Mad Lions, they are going to find their first here over on the T side. Four Mad Lions, but three players are already in CT for Na'Vi. And... Mad Lions likely aren't going to be ready for that. Acor's still holding over towards short side. And he can just keep holding this until the end of the round. He actually deals with Perfecto. So while this was a four on three, four Na'Vi in the retake, in the blink of an eye, it's fallen just as simple and flamey. Who might not even give this a go anymore. With Acor in position over at short, okay, there's a smoke on simple. That maybe spurs you on, but your fights Ooh. don't go your way. And Roy... Secures the round with a double. Mad Lions going to get their second on the board. And I'll throw in the con and window smoke to try and facilitate it. Now, whenever Mad Lions have gone for this smoke, it's often been the B player that Na'Vi have had to encounter on the Ooh. back of it. And Simple, while well, he's ready, he's coming on this rotation and he's already shut down too. This push from Mad Lions has just grinded to a halt. Flamey does get bested by Bubski, but Perfecto still in position at bench. They weren't ready for the double setup, and he does just about deal with the first man in. Here comes Electronic. He's mopped up another. Roy falls shortly thereafter, and it's another round where both Simple and Electronic put up two. Oh, Electronic turns wow. the jump up, and even then, Bubski, he's, he's missed it a couple of times, and he knows, like, okay, I missed it once, maybe I can get back in. Oh, man, Bubski, dude, what's gone wrong today? He's, uh, there we go. He's finally gotten into the window, but, yeah, unsurprisingly, with all the grace of an elephant, Bubski has given up his position. It just gets dealt with immediately. Acor on this orb now in a 1v5 doesn't feel too likely for him. Na'Vi have just kind of conceded everything on the map. They're giving him a bit of room to maneuver. But the moment he tries to do anything meaningful, he should get shut down. And Boomich is even wrapped into top mid. So 
And Acorn now down here in the connector trying to hold on to the short side. You don't really envy his position. There could be players coming in from everywhere. But he's been able to deal with Flamey. Perfecto is wrapping around in through top mid. And if he catches the timing here, that's a big kill to find. Acorn gets removed. Bobski was wrapping through T-spawn. And now because he's seen Perfecto in top mid, he, he decides against it. He comes back to around towards Rap. And he's got to help Roy out. He deals with the first map, what? follows up onto Boomit. And now just Perfecto left to find. He goes lower. And Bobski's got all three. A stellar round. And, and that there is, is all saved. Uh, in that case, it's Shush in mid with three smokes just to, like, let him hide chair. And look at the timing Asilian's found. He's just walked into the A site through connector. Navi have no one watching. Simple's coming to help. Electronic trying to get one. And it's the two best players here for Navi in the same site. This can't be feeling good for Mad Lions. Asilian trying to get further progress. Simple's dropped another. Asilian will join the fray. But he's down to nine. And Simple has not left this window. He is hanging around the smoke with another. Finishing the job. And Orb the Orb now. Acor coming through he won't commit what can he do oh there's perfecto gone trying to deal with simple now and back to back in this smoke spot flamey and ct but flamey's able to beat it game here and now for navi yeah they definitely had great reasons this match so far like you know, simple already in b by the way mad lions are hitting the site and they're uh, walking into a triple stack it feels standard at this point that navi have the majority of the players on this site roy ready for one but quickly traded just getting another from the apartments oh, actually sorry that's from mid it's only acor stuck in abs he dies the round's done there it is it's all on shush on five and they know exactly where he's coming from too simple's posted and even if he wasn't there's still two more players in b so Oh dear, that's a missed shot, but it's recovered nicely, and Na'Vi will take the half in a commanding lead. And Electronic going to lead the way into this beast. Oh fight. no! Oh dear, Asilian, he's on the back line, he's killed Boomish, running out of Palace. Now Na'Vi have B, but they lose the first man in, so trading has left them a man down in the post part. It's still doable with these Glocks, however, USPs, as long as Mad Lions communicate, as long as they wait for these two cat players and go in as a unit, they should be fine. I say should, that's not a certainty by any means of the word. Flamey finds another, and now it gets trickier, it gets uh, more and more difficult. By the second, Asilian, big kill, but he gets dinked on the return, and Simple still in the sight fight to the nail, missed shot to Asilian, and you can't afford to miss those, it's simple with three on the site. Oh, he's simple. Nailing the first part is short, he's getting pressured from everywhere, but this is the one who actively enjoys the pressure. Oh, Acor though, triple kill with the Deeg in a matter of seconds has brought this down to a 1v1. And at this point, Na'Vi, they're saying, all right, play me, look. But we need to see how this round goes down, so let's go back, Acor. <laughs> Holding on to the top of mid. This bomb is here. Oh, flame has oh gone. And he saves the round. Now, now let's roll those Deeg shots back, baby. And he, oh no, Bobski had a timing there, but now they're in the, oh wait, hang on a moment. You thought that you, you, you thought that they were going to get Bobski, but no, because he's no. back around. But then simple, well actually, he'll take that bet. He'll raise you on it. And he does shut down Bobski with the no scope. Perfect, they're now going to try and get out through the apartments. There's two players inside of this B bomb site. And he's got support from Catwalk. Perfect though. On quiet for now. Shush is coming on this flank all the way through T-Spawn. And oh no, that's the bomb dropped. Electronic gets caught going through the smoke. This round is chaos. Asilian deals with Perfecto. And it's all on to Simple at the very, very end. He's not able to find Shush. Five rounds to their name. Simple, he is just so ready. Obviously walks into the shot. If Navi just commit here, they could close the map, get 15, pretty much guaranteed. Asilian's the only man here. Mad Lions are so far away on these rotations. Asilian needs a double kill at bare minimum. He's going to try and stall, try and stay alive. That works too, but Electronic's pushing it, and Asilian's now spamming smokes on 4 HP with 4 bullets. He walks into the orb. Flamey and Simple absolutely tearing through this round, and it feels like Mad Lions, their best bet might be saving. Now, the, the benefit to this is that they can kind of run like a miniature little bait and switch in the sense that Acor can help shush out. 
would would maybe I don't want to say they're going to underestimate Mad Lions like that would be a mistake, but maybe not be ready for some of the ideas Mad Lions have, have surprised so many teams with. But in the first half, it didn't feel that way. Navi stacked every correct site, they made every read, they didn't fall for any fakes, and you can't really ask for more than that on a CT Mirage right now on the T side. They're controlling the map and the A site as well. Simple looks to close this uh, entire map here on his own, and a no scope headshot with a follow up that would do it. Simple, get him out of here. It's Navi taking a win here to start the series. But I just, I can't think of a team that no matter how good they usually are, when you're going up against the simple in top form, that, that like can actually do anything about that. So let's see, right? Maybe they can surprise us. But yeah, I don't think it's it's a, it's a great look out of the gate. Perfecto in this pistol round takes it by storm. He gets three. And with it, the B site has fallen. It's all onto A core here. One versus three down through the connector. And he might be able to catch the first man by surprise. No one's looking this way just yet, but I think simple, yeah, it just saw him there. So this is going to prompt the rotation back from the rest of the gang. Everyone's looking at catwalk. Bots. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be a weird one. Bomb goes in first. Boomich has dropped it and given it over. Bubsky and Acor have both found a killer piece and, and no one's even fallen for Mad Lions. Flamey is suddenly left in a 1v5 and that is, yeah, that is ugly for from Na'Vi, man. Like, you know, yeah. they, they try and get into the site. They really take their time. At which point, Mad Lions have had more than enough time to rotate players up. They send the bomb in first from this A bomb site. And actually, with Na'Vi throwing in utility, they haven't rotated a single man away. Mad Lions are actually going to keep this A stack in play, and they even start to rotate Shush up. Na'Vi walking in to the stack. They're not able to deal with Acorp. Castilians helped out, and Electronic is going to fall shortly thereafter. So Mad Lions, they do get that round on the board. And now Na'Vi, they're going to grab that bomb. They're going to move. Well, they go back towards middle to clear this area. Simple has, but he hasn't realized the shot's going through. He hits it. That's despicable. Simple. But the only issue with that is he's running down towards B. That's something Asilian has seen. Simple is running away. And so will Mad Lions try and stack B off the back of that information? 20 seconds left. Navi have to go. There's two watching monster. Ooh, shush. Opens up with one. Simple gets the trade. Ooh. Boomich going to follow up as well in this... Uh... Tight. Ooh, well, they got a little bit dicey there because there was very little time left. Acor could have done something from heaven. That sounds more likely. Asilian going to try and regress. It's a good idea. They are down by two and he's caught Flamey. Oh, unbeknownst to him, trying to throw utility. That's a free kill, but it will get punished by Boomish, who's outside a monster. No, Asilian's quick. He predicts the angle. And now in a three on three, this has been flipped on its head. He can retreat towards B and Mad Lions can set up for a winnable round. They might try and go up the connector. Yeah, they, they, they don't have time. They look like they were interested in that for a moment. But now they go back into B. Two players here. they got to get past the Cillian and Acor. cillian has been spotted but not dealt with. He puts up a kill. They do find Acor but with 10 seconds left. These kills Ooh, have got to no. come in. Bomb plant now looking to come through. And Na'Vi, they just get that bomb planted. Roy has come in from this flank all the way through mid. Simple turns and does the bulk of the damage. Electronic has just got to finish the job. Roy not giving this fight up just yet, but Electronic will get it, and he's got it dead to right. Na'Vi, three on the board. Yeah, this is like Acor to get like a little bit curious as to what's going on in mid, and he tries to go for this information play. Now, he does actually catch Electronic, and him doing all this has once again allowed for an extra man to rotate down to this B bomb site. However, Simple arriving later. Snipes Bubsky away. He's going to commit through the long smoke, not expecting a Cillian to be here as well. And that is his downfall. Perfecto now. 1v2. Does find a Cillian through the smoke. Acor is already in position over here at short. Smoke down for Perfecto. He's going to try and cross behind it. Bomb tapped, hoping that that baits the peak. Wow. And Perfecto navigates the 1v2 perfectly. Na'Vi, five on the board. In this case, like, likely Na'Vi phase, I, like the winner of that is, is what that looks like, but you know, surprises have happened. NIP have looked good as well. Fast play, Bubsky plays the Molotov, and he sees right through it, dropping simple. Boomish is already low outside the monster, and Electronics is alone in middle. No one to trade that kill. There's two players here for Mad Lions. They are in full control of this round. Oh, Na'Vi is just hoping for anything, but flamey has been caught, and Perfecto, he may have connector, but Boomish might not have the bomb for too much longer. Roy's here to stay. Yeah, 
Yeah, the question for Perfecto is, is how much damage can he do in this round? There's a man looking at Khan, so yeah, none is going to be the answer. Acor is just homed in with that orb. And Electronic, he's cleared the site. He's about to realize that Acor's running back. He's going to get caught dead without a chance. Electronic might want this bomb to rotate up, but that is going to be a big problem. This is the mind game now. Do Mad Lions rotate up, or does Electronic flank their back line? Elicillian getting the info. He's found two. Na'Vi trading, but the bomb's been lost outside Monster. This is a mess. How has this fallen apart? They had everything, and the aggression from Mad Lions has provided solutions. Shush with another. It's Electronic who won't commit uh, pushing through A, coming back through Con. Yeah, he needs the kills and he needs them now or else this round is over. 20 seconds and Electronic is sneaking, but there's no time to sneak. There's no time to silence. He's got to be fast and he's got to be ferocious here. Electronic, first kill found and now just Roy left to beat. But 10 seconds, Roy has seemingly every advantage here. Electronic has to stick the bomb plant and in doing so, he will get deleted. Roy peeks up and... Right now, he's holding the lead in Na'Vi's map pick, but it's early days. Roy is burning that Molotov. Oh, no, Cillian's on his head as well. And because he's on the stairs, Roy can't walk upstairs. He's essentially getting blocked from that. And, you know, yeah, just kind of had to walk into it. Cillian pushes the smoke. Paul was waiting for that. The bomb will get spotted in con, but it comes a, a kill for Na'Vi. Boomish flashing short and setting Flamey up to take this position. Na'Vi once again crunching the B-side, but his aggression to Mad Lions seems to be the solution, or so they think. Definitely not working. Bubsky getting caught as well, and now the hole is just getting dug deeper and deeper underground. It's only the AWP B in the hands of Acor. Na'Vi are going to commit with 20 seconds, surprise, surprise, in the last of the half. There's two here, and two more coming from upper, already dropping into the site. The simple got an opening kill. Roy needs something. He can't find it. Shush, a monster with only one. And the trades are good for Mad Lions, but Na'Vi have the bomb plant. Yeah, they know where Acor is. The only mystery right now is Asilian. And simple is slowly but surely wrapping him. Now, Asilian looks ready for this. He's holding down. The, uh, the short tunnel, Asilian, unable to win that fight, and Perfecto deals with Acor inside of the site. So Na'Vi, they just about win out that first half. So in this round, they're quick over here towards Long. You might recognize this. This is a bit of a matchmaking classic. It's the old go Long, down Con, in towards the B site later in the round. However, Asilian was dropped early on at Long, and Na'Vi, they've seen this play a million times before. They've already rotated down to this B bomb site. They've kept the stack here. While all this has gone on, Perfecto is the pistol king of Na'Vi as well. It feels like every pistol round, he's here putting up multi-kills, and this one is no different. Three kills from him, and a ninth on the board for Na'Vi. Down here into the connector, there's two players on the other side, but simple, ready to go. Shuts down the first man, Shush is quick to get that trade, and you can see him just pick up the pace. You know, you don't want to let Simple get another shot off there. That's how he tears you apart, so they get that trade nice and quickly. Find this four on four, but Flamey gets flashed in down here towards the B side of the map to take the man advantage back in favor of Na'Vi. Mad Lions, they, they leave mid. They up, and, they up and leave it. They rotate back with this bomb and they look to set up over here towards the B bomb side. Now, there's still plenty of time if Mad Lions did want to change this up. They've also got con control, but with how things are looking right now, they to commit in towards B, and that's a bit of a uh, problem. There's three players for Na'Vi here. This is an even gunfight, and these are the fights that you really don't want in a game of Counter-Strike. Going to try and get in. Lady shuts down the first man. Perfecto follows up. And now, as Shush is looking to deal with the player down here in the pit, Boomich is just allowed to swing out and secure that free kill. Electronic might have just won this entire damn round. Oh, he's getting close. He's trying to get as much value out of this as he can. Oh, he only gets one. That's a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Electronic Ooh. playing the trigger discipline, and Shush gets a double in the meantime. How on earth have Mad Lions gotten back into this round? Deary, deary me. This was not how you imagined it was going to go at all. However, Boomich wow. deletes Bobski through the smoke, and now it's all on Shush. He's had a fantastic double to start this round off for Mad Lions. Now he's going to finish it off with two more. King for Simple does find damage. See, it terrifies me whenever players tag Simple, but they don't kill Simple. I feel like all you've done now is make him angry. And Shush, with this block... <laughs> Not the weapon of choice, definitely not what you'd want. Like, they are just waiting him out. Boomich tries to take the fight, oh! and the clock actually does best. Boomich now just simple left, 
and he's gonna land the shot needed. Shush falls, Na'Vi, they'll get that 13th round. 13 to 7. Na'Vi have had a flawless CT side here, Harry. It's five in a row, and Simple just picking them out of the spawn. Oh no. This this comes as like a consequence of not having connector and you're worried that they could have gone up con. But that's not the case. And luckily enough, Flamey and Perfecto have locked this entire round down between the two of them. Electronic is flanking again, and so even though Asilian gets that kill, he should get dealt with right about now. And there it is. Electronic gonna pick it up. 14 on the board for Navi is you don't have things to fall back on. You don't have that experience of officials that, oh, okay, guys, this works. This doesn't. We, this is what we usually do when we're having a rough time. But they just don't have that. Practice isn't the same. And, well, right now, Navi is showing them how difficult these officials can be. Electronic before. It's him and Simple just running the board right now. Perfecto's had a great map here on overpasses. I mean, this round, Navi actually only have two players here. Simple is rotating down, but play me. Perfecto, what? not able to stand their ground. They do get two. Simple up in heaven with the AWP gets smoked off, so he doesn't have much of a say as the side pay comes on in. Electronic's over here towards short side and is wrapping up. It's him, Boomich, and Simple. And Electronic gonna spam Acor out of the round. Roy tries to take matters into his own hands, but gets cut down as well. It's a silly and left up in the 1v3. And it's a team ace to round this one out for Na'Vi. They'll take this series 2-0. 16-7 here on overpass at Na'Vi.